Hello and welcome to the Faculty of Engineering and Design's virtual tour. This unit will cover the lab spaces used for the School of Information Technology, which includes network technology, interactive multimedia and design, optical systems and sensors, and information resource management. This tour was developed by students and researchers of Carleton University in collaboration with the Faculty of Engineering and Design and the Carleton Immersive Media Studio, or SIMS, team. During our tour, we will walk through campus, enter labs, discuss the equipment, and hear from current students about their experience. Each of our destinations will be marked with a red sphere and have been captured within a 360-degree photosphere, which enables you to pan around the three-dimensional space. During our transitions from room to room, I encourage you to ask any questions you have about engineering and design at Carleton. Now let's get started. Our first stop is a project lab. This is the Interactive Multimedia and Design Senior Project Lab. It's set up in pods for group work. Now we are going to head over to Israeli Pavilion, the main building for the School of Information Technology. On your right, you'll notice the Rideau Canal. It's the world's largest and second longest natural skating rink. Many students use the canal to skate to work, school, or home and grab a beaver tail and hot chocolate on the way. This lab space contains over a hundred new computers for first year and second year students. Labs are usually open to all students to use outside of scheduled class time. The computers are equipped with the programs you will need for any of your required courses. This room houses the Bachelor of Information Technology Society, or FIT Society, which is a student group that hosts gaming nights, study sessions, and networking nights. This main office also acts as the Bachelor of Information Technology Academic Support Office, as students can come here to get help with course registration and selection. This area also houses many of the professor's offices, which are available for office hours.
This is a state-of-the-art motion capture lab. It is used by undergraduate and graduate students. It is fully equipped with cameras, lights, green screens, filming equipment, and dolly tracks. Students will use this in classes such as the Interactive Multimedia and Design Animation course. This is the Anthony Whitehead Makerspace. The Makerspace is a bookable space which contains a laser cutter, 3D printers, resin printer, soldering stations, and a sewing machine. This is the recording studio. The sand room is a bookable recording studio that can be used in upper year courses. This computer lab is used by all students for courses in programming, animation, 3D computer graphics, and design studios. To our last stop on the tour, we'll be walking by Tory Quad in the McOdrum Library. The library has five floors, including quiet floors, collaborative workspaces, computers, Starbucks, and bookable rooms for group studying. In the summer, students and professors will often gather around picnic tables for lunch, play frisbee, do yoga, and enjoy other outdoor activities. Okay, let's check out our last lab. This is a new computer lab for the Bachelor of Information Technology programs. It's the main lab used for virtual reality. The computers are capable of running many programs such as Open Frameworks, Java, ODBC, MySQL drivers, Open Broadcaster software, MATLAB, WinPython, and many more. We have now reached the end of our tour. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them now or email us at engineeringoutreach at carlton.ca. Best of luck and I hope to see you around.